Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create calculated columns in a SharePoint list that uses date formulas to calculate the current date and to extract the day, month, and year from another date column in your list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create calculated columns that use date formulas. Specifically, we're going to look at how to create a calculated column that displays the current date. We're also going to look at how to create a calculated column that displays the difference between another date field and the current date. And we're going to look at how you can create a calculated column to extract parts of another date field, specifically how you can display the year, the month, and the day of another date field. So we're going to start by creating a calculated column that displays the current date. Now to create a calculated column, you want to click on the drop down arrow to the right of the add column option here and you want to click on the more button. Next, you want to give this column a name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this invoice dash age. And in the column type, you want to select calculated. Next, you want to scroll down and in the formula field, you want to enter equals and you want to enter the formula today followed by an open and closed brackets. Next, you want to set your return type, and I'm going to go ahead and select date and time. And you can see here, you have the option of either displaying just the date or the date and time. So you can select whichever one is appropriate for you. I'm going to leave this as date only, and I'm going to scroll down and click okay. Now you can see here that the column was added and it is also displaying the current date. So today is April 13th, 2022. So that's how to create a calculated column that displays the current date. Now an important note when using the today formula, this is only going to update whenever you actually create or edit an existing item in your SharePoint list. So this isn't dynamic in the sense that it is going to um, update on its own. It will update when you add an item to a list or when you modify an existing item or when you close out and navigate back to the SharePoint list. Next, we're going to look at how to create a formula that calculates the difference between two date fields. Now, specifically what I'm going to implement is a formula that calculates the age of an invoice and the age of an invoice is defined as the difference between the current date and the invoice date. Now I will go ahead and repurpose the invoice age column that I already created. So I will click on the settings icon and I will click on list settings. Next, I'll scroll down and I will click into my invoice age calculated column. And in order to calculate the difference between the current date and another date, field, I'm going to add a subtraction sign here and I'm going to go ahead and select my invoice date column. So you can see here my formula that reads equals today minus invoice date. Next, you want to select your return type. I'm going to go ahead and select number because I want this to return an integer and I'm going to set my decimal place to zero. Next, you want to scroll down and click OK. And I'm going to click on the name of my list to get back into my list. And you can see here that the invoice age is displayed as an integer. So you can see that this first invoice, invoice number two, is 433 days old. You can see that invoice three is 8,074 days old, et cetera. So this is calculating the difference between the current date, which is April 13th, 2022, and the invoice date that is listed here. So that's how you can calculate the difference between the current date and another date field in a SharePoint list. All right, next we're going to look at how to create a calculated column that extracts 
the month of another date column and displays it in three different formats. So we're going to look at how to display the full month name. We're going to look at how you can display the first three characters of the name of the month. And then we're going to look at how you can display the month as an integer value from one to 12. Now, again, to create a calculated column, you want to click on the add column dropdown and you want to click on more. You want to go ahead and give your column a name. So I'm going to call this column invoice full month name for demonstration purposes. Next, you want to click on calculated. And next, you want to scroll down and in the formula field, if you want to extract the full month name from another date type column, what you want to enter is the following formula. So I've just pasted this in here. You can see the formula reads equals text open bracket. Then there's a comma and it's followed by a quote set of quotation marks with four capital M's. Now, really important, what you need to do is you need to actually insert the name of the column that you want to reference just before the comma. So you can see here, I've placed my cursor just before the comma and I'm gonna double click invoice date. Now you can see here that it didn't actually pipe it into the right spot. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it here just before my comma. And this is going to return the full month name. Next, you want to set your return type. Now, because this is going to return the full month name, I'm going to leave this as a single line of text and then you wanna scroll down and click OK. And what you can see here is that this new column has been added. You can see invoice full month name and it is displaying the actual name of the month that corresponds to the month cited here in this invoice date field. So you can see January 4th will display January, March 5th will display March, and February 2nd will display February. So that's how to extract and display the full month name from another date column in a SharePoint list. Next, we'll look at how you can return just the first three letters of the month name. All right, so I've gone ahead and created my calculated column, and now I'm going to scroll down, and this time in the formula field, I'm going to paste this formula. So it's the same formula that we used in the previous step, You'll just notice this time, instead of four M's, there are only three. And again, what we want to do is we want to insert the date column that we're referencing just before the comma. So I've put my invoice date reference just before that comma. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've set the right return type. So we're gonna leave this as a single line of text again, and I'm going to scroll down and click OK and I'll scroll over and so you can see here this new column that has been added, invoice month, first three, and again, all this one is doing is displaying the first three characters of the field that we're referencing, which again, in this case, is the invoice date field. Next, what we're going to look at is how to extract the month from another date field but this time it's going to return the month as an integer. All right, so you can see here again, I've created my calculated column and I'm going to scroll down and in the formula field, I am going to paste in the same formula that we used in the previous step, again, except this time we are only going to include two Ms. Now recall, you wanna make sure that you pipe in the reference column and place that just before the comma in this formula. So I've added my invoice date. Now this one is going to return an integer. So you have a few different options. You could set the return type to number or you could set it to a single line of text. It really depends on what you're planning to do with this column. If you're gonna be using this column to derive other uh, calculated columns or for the purposes of formulas or validation in workflow, then it probably makes sense to set this to a number. I'm just gonna leave this as a single line of text. Next, I'm going to scroll down and click OK. And I will scroll over and you can see here this time that our invoice month integer column is tabulating or calculating the 
month and displaying that month as a numerical value of one to 12, where each number represents the specific month. So you can see here, February 4th, 2021 displays as 02, March 2000 displays as 03, uh, January and January display as 01. So that is how to create a calculated column that extracts the month of another date field in a SharePoint list and display it in three different formats. All right, next we're going to look at how to create a calculated column that extracts the year from another date field in your SharePoint list. So again, to create a calculated column, you wanna click on the add column dropdown and you wanna click on more. You want to give your column a name. So I'm going to call this invoice dash year. You want to select calculated and you want to scroll down. And in the formula field, again, we're going to reuse the formulas that we used in the previous step. Now you'll notice here that because we're talking about extracting the year, we change the M's to Y's and we are going to display four Y's in this formula. So equals text, open bracket, then there's a comma and the quotation marks with four years close bracket. Now remember, you also need to pipe in the reference column. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my invoice date column and you want to place your reference column just before the comma. Next, you want to set your return type. And again, because this is going to return uh, numerical value, it's okay to either use a single line of text or a number. I'm going to use a single line of text. And next you want to scroll down and click okay. And you can see here our invoice year column is extracting the year from our invoice date column. So in this case, 2021 is displayed here, the year 2000, the year 2000, the year 2000, etc. All right, now we're gonna end off here by looking at how you can create a calculated column that extracts the day from another date column in your SharePoint list. Now, again, to add a calculated column, you want to click on the Add Column dropdown and you want to click on More. You want to give your column a name, so I'm going to call this Invoice Day. You want to select Calculated in the list here and you want to scroll down and in the formula column, again, we're going to leverage the same formula that we used in the previous steps. The formula is equal text, open bracket, comma, and this time we are going to populate four letter Ds inside of our quotation mark. Now recall, you wanna make sure that you populate your reference column just before the comma. So I'm going to go ahead and select my invoice date column and I will paste it just before the comma. Now with this formula, it is going to actually return the full name of the day of the week. So I'm going to set the return type to single line of text. And next you want to scroll down and click okay. Now you can see here the invoice date column is displaying the name of the day of the week based on the invoice date. So Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Tuesday. So next we're going to look at how you can create a calculated column that displays the day of the week represented as a numeric value from one to seven, where one represents Sunday and seven represents Saturday. All right, now you can see here that I've created my column and I've selected calculated as the column type Next, I'm going to scroll down and in the formula field, I'm going to paste the formula equals weekday open and close bracket. Now you want to make sure that you pipe in your reference column. So I'm going to take my invoice column and paste it in between my brackets. And this is going to return a numeric value on a range of one to seven, where one represents Sunday and seven represents Saturday. Now you can set your return type to either single line of text or number. I'll leave it to single line of text and I'll scroll down and click OK. Next, I'll click on my list name to bring me back into my list. And you can see here that the invoice day int column is displaying a numeric value from one to seven. So the one represents Sunday, 
Two represents Monday, three represents Tuesday, etc., all the way to seven. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can create a calculated column in a SharePoint list to extract different parts of a date field. Specifically, we looked at how to create a calculated column that takes the current date, that calculates the difference between the current date and another date field in your SharePoint list. And then we looked at different ways that you can extract the day, the month, and the year from another date field in your SharePoint list. Now remember, I've pasted all of the formulas in the description of this video below. So you can actually just click that description and grab the different formulas so that you can use them in your SharePoint list. And so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Ecobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.